Okay, today we're going to go ahead and draw 5.2b, the axle. Uh, you can see it's going to be a lot of line tools, a lot of reading uh, the drawing itself and trying to get it into our model. So we'll see how we do. Uh, standard IPT crate. I found that when I start with the origin right here, I have the most success working my way around the part and then doing my revolve. So I'll start my sketch, XY plane. Do my line tool, we're going to come over 0 0.07. 0 0.07, enter. I'm going to do some math. So if this is a diameter of 0.4, that's a diameter of 0.29. That's 0.11 diameter. But we want the radius aspect, so I'm going to have it do 0.11 divided by 2. And that will give us the distance it would be with respect to a radius. Once again, those are because we are measuring circles in diameters. Um, but we only need a radius because we're only coming part of the way in. All right, so we're down to here. Now this dimension, 0 0.88 minus 0.25 minus 0.19 minus 0 0.07 is 0.37. And that's from here to there. I've already calculated that on my calculator. 0.37 over. So now we need to go 0 0.29 minus 0.25, which is 0 0.04. But because we were dealing with diameters we want to go to the radius aspect so we'll come down there we're going to come over 0 0.05 and we're going to come down 0 0.25 minus 0 0.19 is 0 0.06 divided by 2 0.06 divided by 2 so we're there we're going to come over 33 Three, three, enter. We're going to come down if that's 0 0.19. So we're going to come down right to the center point right here because we're going to do a revolve, revolve in a few minutes. So that's 0 0.19 divided by 2. And then we're going to come. This is the only line I think that actually matches. If you can see here where the cut and where the hidden line is, that's all the same area. So I'm going to bring that back to the origin. Make our life easy. Click there. Once again, so on this side, I'm going to come up 0.19 divided by 2. Then we'll come over 0.19. So now we have 0.19 minus 0.25. So that's 0 0.06 divided by 2. Six two. And we're going to come over 0.25. Okay, so on this one we are going to 0 0.25 and 0 0.30. So we're going to come up 0 0.05 divided by 2. And we're going to come over 0 0.05. We're going to come down 0 0.01. Now this next part's at a slope. So what I do is I right click OK. I come back over here and I make this line here. So we have that 0 0.40 minus 0 0.30. Start my line tool again back at my origin. So I'm going to come down 0 0.05. No. 0 0.10 divided by 2, so 0.4 minus 0.3, which would be 0.1 divided by 2. And now I'm just going to connect up that line. And I believe we should be good. It's reasonable. So we're going to finish our sketch. We're going to show you the revolve feature. Revolve is right here under 3D modeling. Hit revolve. It asks you what you want to revolve. You select the face. It's not selecting the face. So I have something that's out of order. So we're going to go back through. We're going to edit the sketch. We're going to make sure all of our lines are closed. So as we right click, we're going to hit close loop. Okay. We're 
the way around somewhere. I didn't click exactly right. And we're going to close this thing up. So we're going to close the gap, successfully close. So if that's what's happening on your modeling, sometimes that is the culprit. So we're going to finish sketch. Go back to a revolve. It's going to grab our feature. Okay. And we're going to say what axis we want to revolve around. We want to revolve around this axis. And here we go. So we're looking pretty good here on our part. Cutouts, everything revolved around 360. Everything's looking good based on what we see. So we also notice that we have a slot in there. So the way we're going to do that slot, look at the front. We're going to go work plane. We're going to go tangent to this with respect to the XZ plane. So it's going ahead and created our work plane. Let's look at that. All right. That's what we were hoping for. Great. So now we're going to start a 2D sketch on that. We're going to draw a little rectangle. And I'm going to draw it first. So it's 0 0.20 by 0 0.04. Point 0.2 tab 0 0.04. Okay. I click OK. So I'm going to go ahead and place it with geometric constraints. First of all, I'm going to project it edge i want to project this edge here right click ok and then i'm going to say a collinear constraint so i'm going to make this line up with that new projected edge all right awesome and then we're going to say coincident if you're easy going on stuff you can grab the midpoint so if you cycle up on the middle of that line you'll see that little thing you can also open it up after you grab on it and Grab it there, and we're going to grab the midpoint of that. We're going to line those right up perfectly. Finish sketch. We're going to do an extrude. We're going to go ahead and cut. Let's say distance of through all. Turn off our work plane. Right click, turn off visibility. And we're going to see how we look. All right, looks pretty similar to the part. Go we'll save it. All right, thank you for watching.